because it, it is a selfish question on my part. Do you think if Bailoff saw me singing his songs, he'd have been fucking proud? Or oh, yeah. Yeah? For sure, dude. Yeah, because you know what? B listen, Bailoff could look at a dude right in his eyes and know if he was passionate about metal. Bailoff was... was listen, listen. Paul wasn't the greatest singer. But he was the most passionate motherfucker about heavy metal there was on the planet, dude. And yeah. that's where, that's where I, I take pride in, in me and Paul were like really, really good friends. Yeah. Uh, we all were, you know what I mean? But um, I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world, bro. But I, I believe that I'm more passionate than, than nine out of 10 of these fools on stage these days. I mean, it's just something about, and, and the people that, you know, they want to see passion up there, bro. That's what they want to see. They, I mean, people can see through all the sweeping arpeggios and the fucking, all the crazy shit, but do they, they want to see a motherfucker up there sweating and breaking his fucking ass up there. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I believe that. And I, I think that Paul, so, Paul would have seen you perform those songs, dude, and he would have known, yes, I believe that he would have loved you, Rob. Yeah, good. I want to say that, uh, that yeah, yeah. You, may, you may not think you're the, the greatest guitar player, Right. But when I when I turned around that time and you were screaming at your fingers because you were so <laughs> happy to be playing, that was moving to me. It was inspiring to me to enjoy the moment that I was in. And I, yeah. and, and that's uh, what it was. And I'll never forget. I don't know if you remember. Oh, you will remember this. We were on tour of Megadeth. We were at <clears throat> we were in Chicago. And me, you and Gary and Jack went to a club after the show, maybe with Bill Kill too. We were out with Bill was with us. And we went to this fucking bar and there was band was playing. And the next thing I know, I'm fucking having a soda. We're enjoying ourselves. We're talking and shit. I turn around and Rick Hunol is on stage with the Chicago fucking blues band at this bar. And he is up there just shredding. <laughs> and you just played a set with Megadeth and now you're at this little bar and you're up on stage and you played the blues with so much fucking love and passion. And, it, you know, and that's what I when I listen to your solos, that's what I get out of it.